Soundbooth CS5 now comes with over 9,000 sound effects and over 100 customizable scores. Uh, the scores inside a sound, sound booth, of course, can be uh, stretched and modified to fit any duration, and you can adjust the energy within the clips themselves. Well, let me show you a few examples here. To start with, I'm in the Resource Central panel inside of Sound Booth. And from here, this is where I can access over 9,000 different sound effects, and this is also where I can pull down any of the scores. Uh, this extra content is located in an online library, so it doesn't take up room on your hard drive until you're ready to use it. So as one quick example here, uh, working with different sound effects, I can choose based on categories of what I need. So we can look at things like Foley, Footsteps, uh, Technology, Weapons. I'm going to go ahead and go into the Weapons category here. And you can see that uh, this is just one page of 47. So uh, if I want to find, for, in for instance, uh, maybe a sword hit for the video that we're working on here, I can just type in the word sword. And very quickly, Soundbooth will go through the online library and find any places where a sword is used within the library. 82 results found. Now, if I want to listen to any of these particular sound effects, all I have to do is hit the play button. And I can hear what that sound effect is going to sound like. Uh, to download it, just click on the little arrow here. In this case, I've already gone through and downloaded this one. So you'll notice as I roll my mouse over the name of the sound effect, you'll see that this particular uh, sound effect is actually highlighted. And so I don't have to go to a separate panel to find this. I can literally just drag this and drop it right into my multi-track project um, and have that available. Let's go ahead and play it in the, the project. All right. Now the same technique works with scores. So I can go to the scores panel and here we have uh, uh, 11 different scores in an ambient uh, view mode, but you can see here we have a bunch of different categories of different types of scores that we want to work with. So from here maybe I want to go to the rock and pop category, and you can see we have a whole series of different scores here. If I click play on one of these, let's try uh, Industrial Nation. Okay, if we want to use that one, I can just hit download, and this will start the process of downloading the score to uh, my computer locally, and then I can start using it in my project. So now, once I have a sound booth score in my track here, I can actually come in here and I can play with the controls of this. And uh, this works the same way that it did in CS4. I can go through and adjust the intensity level, adjust the volume, and even go in and start playing with uh, some of the different parts. Now, a new control that we've added inside of CS5, when you're working in a multi-track view, you want to be able to maximize your screen real estate for the different tracks you're working with. And so by grabbing between each of these different tracks, you'll see here if I grab right here in the control, I can shrink tracks or expand tracks. And this gives me some extra control to very quickly kind of maximize the screen real estate. So if I come in here and I start to add additional tracks, I'm just going to throw a couple of tracks down here in the bottom you'll see that uh, instead of having to scroll back and forth, I can just grab this point at any point in my, uh, my view. I can grab the defining line and I can very quickly set this up to just maximize the screen real estate here. So, those are just a couple of new features inside of Soundbooth CS5. Over 9,000 new sound effects, uh, royalty-free content, and over 100 customizable Soundbooth scores available from the Resource Central panel in Soundbooth CS5.